What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's a free general collective reading for all signs. Caps are beside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not fly, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, from the bottom of my heart chakra, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. And thanks, everybody, for all the recent support to the channel. Um, the channel's growing, growing, growing. So thanks so much for all the shares, the likes, um, and um, the word of mouth and social media exposure of my channel. I very, very, very much appreciate it. Single mom of two kids, so it really helps support a single mom of two kids and one of her income streams. And yes, I don't have full custody of them anymore, but I still have visitation rights. So still a single mom of two kids, just saying. Um, just saying, just saying. And to the uh, particular uh, feminine energy that emailed me about the her your opinion, ma'am, on the court decision and ruling, um, it was very rude. It was very rude and um, and you're entitled to your opinion, but um, I don't know why you felt the need to um, email me that. I don't, I guess you were trying to trigger me in a negative way. Um, I've had many hor horrible, harsh things said to me in my life. So it doesn't trigger me the way you think it does, um, but you are entitled to your opinion, ma'am. Just saying, just saying. And you mentioned hidden cameras in there. Well, um, nobody deserves hidden cameras in any in their house, period, point blank, at any time, unauthorized. Um, I just want to make that clear, okay? Okay. So um, the channel message I received was, um, um, your separation from a dark witch um, is about to be the best thing that ever happened to you. Um, I heard a feminine energy for some, for some, a masculine energy warlock. I heard air sign and water sign energy. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So if this particular message applies for you, apparently you have already, sounds like energetically um, separated yourself from a some, a warlock and some a witch. Um, witches are femme energies for anybody doesn't know. Newbies to the channel and warlocks are masculines. So um, some it was a masculine energy, warlock, some it was a femme energy, dark witch. So, you know, we, we, there's light side, fun kitchen witch and light side, fun garden witch, like that doesn't harm people, doesn't hurt, uh, not hurt, um, hex or curse people or, um, with, or put death spells on people or confusion spells or, you know, they, they just mix the herbs in a fun, positive way to, um, use natural home remedies to um, help make their health go up or make others health go up or garden, you know, use plants and herbs and like the outside outdoor garden life. That's fun kitchen witch, fun garden witch. We're not talking about light side, that protection spells and evil eye protection and things like that. We're talking about dark energy, like confusion spells, dead spells, um, Hursing, I mean, I'm sorry, hexing and cursing and um, using hidden cameras to energetically cord attach upon people or um, or um, cloaking spells, cloaking of energy spells, things like that. That's dark energy, whether it was the dark witch or the um, femme energy or the light side or the, I'm sorry, the dark warlock masculine energy. I heard air sign and water sign energy. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine or feminine energies, okay? Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Some of it was masculine energy, some of it was a feminine energy. Sorry, it's my daughter. I had to take it. I sent her some pictures of the kitties this morning. <laughs> this is hard, but, you know... It is what it is. So, um, you know, I'm strong, always have been. So, and I know I am. So, um, and if it's the best for them, then it's the best for them, you know, period, point blank. So I'm going to get through it. But anyway, so, um, so yeah, so, um, 
so, so you have already energetically detached. I feel for some, like, serious cord cutting energy. I didn't hear cord cutting energy, but I feel like for some, you might have cut, like, physically, like, cord cord cutting, or they cord, cut cords with you, or, I mean, I didn't hear that, but I, I mean, I feel it was that serious for some, and I'm just being for real, but dark side energy over here, whether it was a, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Mask on her Femme, Dark Witch, or a, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Dark Witch, or, I'm sorry, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Dark Witch, or Warlock, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Dark Witch, or Warlock, um, how that resonates and applies. Yikes. Um, but I heard it's going to be the best thing that ever happened to you. It's going to be the best freaking thing that ever happened to you. And um, it sounds like blessings are about to come in for you because you, with your own intuition, you have cut the energetic cords. You have cut ties. I feel you have blocked them out of your phone. You have quit communicating with them or you have minimalized communication or uh, that's what I feel. That's what I feel. Um, Maybe for some, you can't completely cut the communication, but you can sure minimalize it if you can't cut it. Um, or maybe for some, it was it was hidden cameras because we've been picking up hidden camera energy in here again, too. Um, Virgos, there was a Virgo femme that had a hidden camera in her home. There was a Leo femme about a month ago. There was um, there was another sign, a Cancer, Cancer femme. There were a lot of femme energies with picking up hidden cameras. So it could have been... Uh, they were sucking your energy through a hidden camera, possibly. I mean, it was so bad that, you know, there was a damn Cohen formed in the Secret 7 through a hidden camera. So, I mean, that crap can happen. You have to plug the own message or messages into your own life, how it resonates, okay? But kudos to you. Kudos to you. Some are about to cut these people off. Some are about to. So, some you already have, and I heard blessings are about to come to you. Huge blessings are about to come to you. Some you're about to. So you have to plug these people into your life, how they resonate. Mask on her femme, witch or warlock. Mask on her femme, witch or warlock. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Whoever these people are. You have to identify who these people are in your life if they resonate. Okay? All right. Hold on one second, you guys. I'm so, oh, here it is. I was like, what? Okay. Experiments each year, I've collected. And I want to add, um, I heard it was a water sign or an air sign over here. You could be a light side water sign or air sign. Um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Just because you're cutting these people off, you could be a water sign. You could be an air sign. Um, but whoever these people you're dealing with or was dealing with, the dark side individuals, they were definitely either a water sign or had water in their chart or air sign or had air in their chart. You could be a water, air sign. You could be a water sign. But these dark energies over here, they have those in their placement in some shape, form, or fashion. Deceit. You can't make this crap up even if you wanted to. Deceit. They were lying to you. Number 25 could be a very significant number in one's life. I feel for some you already know. You already know they were lying. And contract. We have deceit and contract. 25 and 6. Number 25 or 6 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 25 or 6. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 25 or 6. And a fire sign. Dark fire sign. And a fire sign. Dark fire sign. Okay. So we have a um, witch and a warlock. Witch and a warlock. Oh, my God. So, witch and a warlock, dark fire sign, too. So, we have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Witch and a warlock. There's at least six of these people in the universe. At least six. Um, it might be more. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. 
masculine and femme, witch and war, dark witch and warlock. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yikes. Deceit and contract. Huge deception with a false contract. Huge. About to bring the legal hammer on their asses. Justice coming in the court of law. Okay, I heard a false contract about to bring the uh, legal hammer on their ass. Justice coming in the court of law. So legal legal justice. Uh, you're about to bring them in. You're about to take them to the court of law if this resonates for you. Uh, for some, you've already come off. For some, you're about to. It's something regarding a false contract. Um, I heard false contract in here. And then we have deceit. They lied to you over this contract. They lied to you. And um, I heard it was a false contract. So obviously, I don't think you um, knew it was a false contract when you got involved with it. Um, but you've either already learned it or you're about to learn it was a false contract. Uh-uh. No. How that resonates and applies. Some have already learned it. Some are about to. Some have already learned it. Some are about to. So some of you guys have already learned it was a false contract. Some you're about to learn it was a false contract. And I heard whoever you guys are over here, I feel you can be any sign. I didn't hear what sign you are over here. You have to plug yourself in refit. But however that resonates and applies, some you've already learned it was false contract. Some you're about to. And you're basically about to take them to the court of law for some kind of false contract because they lied to you. They deceit, i.e. lied um, because they it was a false contract. Some have had a, some have already, uh, already tried to strong arm you. It's about to backfire in a huge way. Some have already tried to strong arm you and it's about to backfire in a huge way. And for one, you're about to try to get paid off to shut you up. And that's about to backfire too. So one of you guys, they've tried to strong arm you and that strong arm means basically bully you, bully you to shut up. But I heard that's about to backfire. So the strong arm means about to backfire, i.e. the bullying to try to shut you up is about to backfire. And for one of you guys, um, I heard they're going to try to pay you off soon to shut you up. And I heard that's going to backfire too. Um, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Nope. Nay, nay. Nay freaking nay. Just saying, just saying. Nope. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys, um, the strong arming tactics are about to backfire. So you're about to stand up to strong, some kind of strong arming, some kind of bullying, harassment, berating. Um, you're about to stand up to it. That's my kind of person, just saying, just saying, saying. Um, you're not a sheep, just saying. Like a sheep following the crowd. Not a black sheep. Uh, like a, one of the sheep just following in what everybody says. You think for yourself. Um, not to be confused with black sheep, just saying. Black sheep's different. Um, Kudos to you. And one, you're about to, uh, somebody's about to try to pay you off to shut you up. And I heard that's about to backfire too. And for one, somebody's going to try to come in, one as a friend, one as a potential love interest, and you are not going to be interested and that's about to backfire too. I love it. And for one of you guys, somebody's about to try to come in as a friend. To gain information, they're not going to get shit. Okay, and they're going to try to come in as a friend to gain information, and I heard they're not going to get shit, and that's going to backfire. A lot of backfiring. And for one, um, they're going to try to come in as a love interest. Um, and I heard that's going to backfire too, because you're not going to be interested. I love it. Personal power. Somebody's jealous of your ass. We have envy underneath that. And they're attached to your energy. They're attached to your energy because they know you are light side. You speak the truth. You are the truth. Um, and they, they, they want to be attached to your energy. Oh, my God. I love it. And door to romance under that. That's the person going to try to come in as a love interest. But I heard you're not going to be interested. Not at all. It's about to seriously backfire. Not at all. It's about to seriously backfire. You go with your bad self. I love it. So attachment, they're attached, they're attached to your energy or they want to be attached to your energy. 
I don't, whoever you guys are over here, I don't think they're, you're, they're attached right now. Because I heard you blocked them. Um, for some, you're about to. So for some, they could be attached to your energy right now if you haven't blocked them. For some, they want to be attached. Um, but they're not getting what they want. Um, they're envious of you. They're jealous of you. They're jealous of you. Um, because they have to manifest what they want through dark arts. And the thing is, is with dark arts, for anybody that doesn't know, it always backfires. It always backfires energetically because they're asking the dark forces for something to manifest something very, very, very quickly, whether it's looks or money or fame or success or notoriety, but it's dark arts always come, manifestations always come quickly, but you, they have to, and I've never done dark arts, but I've had to research it to talk about it on here. But the thing with dark arts is you always have to pay it back in some shape, form, or fashion. Always. That's the energetic repayment back into the universe. That's why some of these people do sacrifices either on animals or people. That's how covens get formed. And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that. Uh, I'm serious. But I heard they're jealous. They're jealous of you. Because you do things the right way, whoever you are. You do things the right way, man. And they want to be attached to you, I think, because, one, because your energy is pure. And two, because they know other people know you do things the right way. Wow, man. Yeah, deceit contract. Some kind of false contract was very, very, very significant in here. This false contract is about to become a huge hot mess in the court systems. Huge. This false contract is about to become a huge hot mess in the court systems. Huge. Huge. Many people are about to take. Many people. Okay, I heard many people are about to take many people. So I think many people are about to take this to the pull off. Um, not just one person. A lot of you guys are. Um, it could be, um, I wonder if that is where that, um, 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 Mm, mm, mm. Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Um, class action lawsuit is going to come into play, possibly. Because I've been pulling in a class action lawsuit or not. Maybe some of these people are going to do it individually. I'm not sure. But there is definitely a, um, some kind of contract, false contract. It wasn't even supposed to be a contract to begin with. But yet it was. But I heard many people are about to take this into the court of law. So this possibly could be in the form of a class action for some for some it could just be individualized um filings you plug it in how it resonates and through many series of chain of events someone that was involved in this false contract a married couple will lose custody of children because of this false through a nor another court situation. And through many series of chain of events, a um, married karmic couple, I heard a married couple, but they're karmic. A married karmic couple is going to lose custody through ch of children, I heard, um, because of this false contract. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard liars. I heard liars, and it's, uh, it sounds like it's going to, something, some kind of truth is going to come out in another court situation. I think it's going to be this court situation, or it could be another one. You plug it in, how it resonates. And someone very, 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 very important is about to get this information. Very important. A high vibrational uh, fire sign masculine and a high vibrational earth sign masculine. They are about to come after these people in huge ass ways. Huge ways. Oh my God, there's so much going on in here. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, and I heard a high vibrational um, fire sign masculine and a high vibrational um, earth sign masculine. So Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo masculine and a high vibrational um, Aries, Leo, Sag masculine. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, North, Node, Main, Haven, and Jupiter charts. They treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. I heard um, one... They're about to find out this information. And once they find out this information, I heard basically they're about to go after these assholes. So th I think that's going to be another court situation too. I heard many people are about to go out, go into this in the court of law. Many people are. Not just one person. Many people. 
Well, good. You should. Because that's some shit right there. That is some shit. Some shiesty ass shit. Okay, I didn't hear anything else, but I heard it's about to create basically a huge legal hot mess with this contract, whatever the hell this is. It's a false contract. I heard it shouldn't have even been um, done to begin with. Corporate corruption. Corporate corruption is what I just heard. Corporate corruption. Corporate corruption. Some kind of corporate corruption, but it sounds like it's dealing with dark arts people. I think these dark arts people were... Um, in this corporate entity or entities and i think they're probably positions of high authority manager boss supervisor or ceo because they manifested their dark arts to wield them um something they want money looks or success in this aspect i think it's success and i'm just being for real but you plug it in how it resonates well they should do it the right way and that's just a damn truth all right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.